Hello YouTube. Uh, today I wanted to visit low grade gold plated pens. Uh, in the last video I got asked a lot about them. I'll show you the way I do it. I'm not saying it's the perfect way. I'm not saying it's the best way. It's just how I do it. Uh, we're going to start with water and salt. The other items we'll be using is a piece of copper I have bent to make a small little bowl on the bottom for an anode and a piece of lead for the cathode. I'll also be using a DC power supply. Alright, we have some water in. I'm just going to add some salt. And I'll start one. I'll be back after I get it stirred up. Alright, well, I want to take some of these gold pins. And you can see they are very, very low grade. Most of them's out of IDE cables. And uh, we'll just put some on the copper and I'll put it in here. All right, I've got everything set up. I'm going to turn on my power supply. You can see I'm 14 volts. And keep in mind my lead is hit my lead is hooked to the negative side the copper will be to the positive side Here we go. Every once in a while, I'll take a piece of plastic, move the pins around a little bit, see if I can get this one handed. Uh, what you want is a connection point to get the gold off. Let's check on it real quick. As you can see, most of the gold plating is gone. Uh, I'll just give it a, a little while longer. Check it again. I hope it's showing, but there's no gold left. So what I'm going to do is put it in the rinse bucket. And I will put more gold pins in. We'll be back then. All right, here's the next small batch. We'll go in.
and give it a little time. Coming along nicely. The fully gold plate is going to take a little longer, but it, it'll work just fine on it. Now I imagine this process would work a lot quicker and faster and easier with like a copper mesh. I don't have any, so this is how I'm doing it. It's almost there. Move everything around, make sure everything's got a good connection point. And put it back in. As you can see, uh, let me get up close. There's no gold left. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I run out of pins. We'll catch you then. I did want to bring up this process can be ramped up very easily. You know, you can use a, a some sort of bowl, a larger vessel bigger piece of copper that will hold more or like I said use a copper mesh if you have it and it can be ramped up to do large amounts very quickly alright we got all the gold pins done uh, here's what's left over you'll see it looks like there's a lot of muck in it and we'll take care of that in a second uh, here are the pins as you can see all the gold is gone this is my rinse water i will clean it up just in case there's gold left in it too anyway to help clean this up i have about 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid i'm gonna put about 10 of it in right now i'm only want to put in enough to clean the liquid up You can see there's an instant reaction, and it is clearing itself up. I'll give it a little stir. Just a second. As you can see, it's almost instant. Now that took 10 milliliters of HCl. And if you look, let me see if I can pick this up. There's, those are gold foils floating around. I will try to get a better picture of it.
Okay, this is probably going to wrap it up because past this we're on the filtration and then on the refining. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.